If you were to ask any biologist to name the primary structural element of cells, he or she would be almost certain to name membranes. All cells are kept separate from their surroundings by a single outer boundary membrane, the plasma membrane. Internally, the cells of all except the most simple organisms are divided further into separate interior compartments by membranes. Each of these compartments, including the nucleus, mitochondria, chloroplasts, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, and vesicles of various kinds and sizes, is maintained as a distinct biochemical environment by its boundary membranes. The interiors of membranes themselves, since they have a lipid or fatty character, also provide a separate, non-aqueous environment in which certain biochemical reactions take place exclusively, such as electron transport in respiration and in photosynthesis. As a part of their function as the primary organizing element of cells, membranes also determine what molecules and ions enter and leave the various cellular compartments. Part of this control depends on the physical and chemical characteristics of membranes. Membranes act something like a molecular sieve and restrict molecules above a certain size from passing through. The molecules that are small enough to pass through are restricted further by their solubility in the membrane interior. In addition to these passive chemical and physical controls, membranes also recognize, bind, and transport certain molecules and ions in and out of cellular compartments at the expense of cellular energy. This active transport, which depends on molecular systems that form an integral part of membrane structure,